Hey there, awesome family. This is Earl from Awesome Gaming, and we're back with more Bon Kaito's Eternal Wings of the Lost Ocean. Last time, we made it to Fricad and fought off a giant spider to get a special web for some brat. We showed us a way into Lord Rodolfo's mansion here. And we also learned that, um, Shell is about to be killed off. And Giacomo, the man we're after, is about to leave. So, let's uh, go ahead and kill two birds with one stone, shall we? Before we continue on... We've got the key to these rooms. We can open up the doors that were locked. Oh, thank God! Glad I'm getting out of here. Thanks for saving me. My name's Aljimo, by the way. I came from Saburai to buy some goods. Uh, just for a little fun, I went gambling, but I ended up losing big time. When I told the gamblers I couldn't pay up, a gang of shady thugs showed up and, next thing I know, I'm locked up in this room. Man, it was quite an ordeal. Sometimes you just have bad luck, I guess. I'll win big next time. Come to think of it, his wife wanted me to give him something, right? The pendant, remember? Hey, I just remembered. Your wife wanted me to give this to you. Is that? That's Manny's. So you've met my wife. She wants me to go back home as soon as possible? Thank you. What have I been doing? I'll head back to the village right away. Here, I want to give you something for rescuing me. It might prove to be helpful someday. And we get the voice too, which adds a 6% uh, to the uh, prizes in battle. Alright, nothing else in here. Just the resolution of that quest that we got uh, two episodes ago. And now... Open up this door. Get it back from them. Will you 
you help me? Thank you so much. Let's hurry. Okay, we'll go with you, Shella. Right? Mimai, what about you? Are you gonna ride with Callus? And like that, Mimai is now officially a team pet. <laughs> Alright, here we get the Shriek statue. That's the uh, Magazelle Lal Shella to class up to level 2. And we get a Kronos Blow. So let's take the. Actually, let's not take the time to do uh, Shella's deck yet because we are actually coming up to a blue flower, I believe. Yes, we are. So we can actually go into the church from here. I think this is the only time that a blue flower is available in a dungeon. Which honestly makes sense because we can now level up Shella to pretty much be on par with us. And we'll class her up as well. And one thing I didn't go over last time is that uh, when we class up, the empty slots in our deck are filled with Pass Magnus, which as the name implies, just passes that part of the combo. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and level up Callus. Alright. So now that we have that, Let's fill in slots on Sh Shella's deck. Uh, fire's not going to be useful to us in this upcoming fight. Neither is Darkness. So we'll replace pretty much all of the fire with what we have. We don't have a whole lot else for Shella. Leather vest. I suppose it's better than nothing. Um, yeah. We'll keep some fire in here, I guess. Um, don't have her level 2 special, though. Okay. I think we're all set there. Palace. Our sh flame swords are dying out slowly but surely. And we are running out of sabers to replace things with. Um, but we'll keep everything as is for now. Alright, if we go in here. Talk to the maid here. We've got to buy the Lord's favorite yogurt. Oh yes, the yogurt. That's this is an annoying one. Uh, basically, we need to get that pow milk and evolve it into yogurt, which takes uh, quite a bit of time. All right, and she needs cheese. But she has a bracelet, which means she's important. She's needed for Kuzman's quest. Um, yeah, we're going to have to come back for her, because there's no way we'll be able to get her at, the, at this point in time. Uh, no, we don't need to talk to him. don't think there's anything else around here. Yeah. 
actually think we might be able to escape and get the palm out, but that's just going to take too much time. It's a good thing those belly buttons were outies instead of innies. <laughs> I am actually going to save right here. And, wow, we haven't saved since the start of the Let's Play. My god. Alright. Let's head on up. Time for the fourth boss of the game. Jeez, we're just going a boss of episode, aren't we? Uh, Giacomo! He's fire elemental, also dark elemental, so let's hammer away with whatever water and light magnets you have. He's also extremely slow. Yeah, he's capable of attacking twice in a round. Here comes his special move. that fire, that's fine. Okay. Did a sizable chunk of damage there. Uh, crap. Dump that. Alright. Hey! 
damage to zero. Nice. Okay, so sometimes he doesn't attack twice in a row, but it does happen sometimes. Alright. We'll just use Blue Storm, I guess. Now, the reason why Shella had two bananas there, um, she had, if you recall, she had a uh, green bananas in her deck when we first had her. By the time we got her back, uh, enough time had passed for those green bananas to age into regular bananas. Is that all? Uh, yeah, we'll keep it like that. All right. Burst, Uncle Burst, and we'll go with Carlos Blow. Alright, um. I think we'll heal up Shella here. Here! having this set up. Yeah, because 3, 2, 1. I'll at least be able to buffer out some damage from that. Alright. In case I have a 3 coming in, I do. Awesome. So Giacomo is actually the uh, fight that you actually want to max out uh, your usage of straights. But and this here is actually what's called a guardian special attack. So at the end of when you get to the end of your combo, one of your magnets will randomly will have a chance to randomly change into. Uh, unique special attack that power will its power will scale with uh, Kalos' class level, and the odds of it happening improve with the more uh, good answers you give when given a choice. Right, we'll just hit him with for weakness here. Yeah, as I was saying when that happened, Jack was definitely the one boss that you want to. Focus on having your uh, combos to work with. Now. Your prizes, I should say. And don't worry about not getting a photo of Giacomo for this fight. Um, he is a recurring villain. You will fight him uh, at later points in the game. But we got it there. As a result, we get Sparkle of Life, Shella's level 2 finisher, and another Kronos Blow, level 1. No! Get back here, Giacomo! Damn! Ugh! Are you alright, Callus? 
We can't stay here. Yeah. Hold it right there! Don't let them escape! I guess we'll be safe here, at least for now. Emperor Geldeblame seems to be trying to revive an ancient cursed power. Is that what you were talking about in the forest? An evil god or something? Yes. Malpercio, malevolent god of old. They say his powers will cause the world's destruction. Have you ever heard of Malpercio? No, not really. I see. I came here from Mintaka, the Imperial capital. I learned that Emperor Geldeblame was pursuing some kind of dangerous scheme. I've been trying to find out what it is exactly. I managed to steal a pendant, which seems very important to them, and then I fled. From what I managed to gather, something terrible was sealed away, deep in that forest. It had never crossed my mind they were talking about Malpercio. Callus, I need your assistance. I must uncover the Emperor's plot and put an end to his ambitions. If the evil god Malpercio should be awakened, the world will be doomed. I can't do this alone. Please help me, Callus. You're asking the wrong guy. The Empire's plans? The fate of the world? I couldn't care less. Be realistic here, Shella. You alone against the might of the Empire? How are you gonna pull that off? I don't know. You can't be serious. If you want someone to die a glorious death with you, look somewhere else. I won't be throwing my life away in a fight with the Empire. You can understand that, right? You've got to be kidding me! Maybe you're crazy enough to listen to her, but I'm not. If we could warn Diadem and Anua Nua and all the other nations of the Emperor's plot, I'm sure they would join us. You really believe that? That the lords and kings will listen to you and take up arms against the Empire? that they would actually risk the well-being of their nations on the words of a little girl? Keep 
dreaming alone. Well, you can do what you want. It's your life, so you should take your own path, Sheila. I have some unfinished business to take care of. By the way, if I were you, I'd leave this island as soon as possible. Chances are you've already earned yourself a spot on the Empire's most wanted list. Not just me. I'm sure you're right up there on the list too, Callus. Besides, that man you're after, Giacomo, he's from the Empire too, isn't he? You've got it mixed up. The bone I have to pick is with Giacomo. Not with the whole Empire! I'm not that stupid. Well, so long, Shella. Who knows? I might see you again. Sometime, somewhere. No, wait! You're leaving the island, right? The only way out is to take a liner to Diadem, the land of the clouds. We'll be taking the same ship, so we might as well stick together, at least for now. And Doth the Exposition Fairy delivers. Alright, so we basically have the uh, idea of the basic plot of the game. So, we have all the time in the world to head to that liner. I say we finish up a few side quests. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to head into Moongal Forest. And we're going to go all the way back to... As I was saying, we're going to go all the way back to where the uh, Lord of the Springs was. So we're going to run up here, fight this Shara. The Sharas go down in one hit now. It's not even funny. All right, moving on. We actually have someone here that we can talk to. And with bracelet. I'm a professor of zoology. I understand animal languages, so I'm able to communicate with them. What am I doing right now? I'm setting a trap to catch a bluebird of happiness. You've come at a good time. Will you help me out here? I'm just itching to catch a bluebird of happiness. Uh, what do you say? Let's help. Uh, so you have an interest in animals as well, do you? I've always dreamed of stuffing one of those birds. Beyond the shrine gates over there, there's a nest full of them in the bushes. The bluebirds are very timid creatures. If they sense your presence nearby, they'll fly away in fright. I take advantage of this nature of theirs and steer the birds toward me. Just try walking past their nest a couple of times. You'll get the hang of it in no time. Good luck! We're not going to give him the uh, family tree just yet, because we need to give him one of these bluebirds. Hey, you're scaring them off in the wrong direction. Lead the birds this way, okay? That's what I'm going to do. Here they come. Good, good, good. We did it. We caught some bluebirds of happiness. All right, cool. We'll check that out in a second. In the meantime... Going to grab this Magnus. Escape. This is our method of running from battle. You need to draw it. <laughs> Alright, while we're here, we're going to pick up some uh, pristine water. We'll be gathering a couple of them, actually. Onward. To 
think we can do Oh, we dodged it. All right. And can we dodge this, Shara? It looks like we can. Oh, there we go. All right, so here we actually have a little signpost. Something is written here, but the sign is too dirty to make out what it says. Use the pristine water. Scrumptious bluebirds live in this forest. Catching them is prohibited, because I said so. Lord Rodolfo. Well, <laughs> Oops! Look, I've caught a bluebird at long last! Can you believe this? I'm so excited. This must be the luckiest day of my life! Here, sign this family tree. You want me to sign the family tree? Indeed. I'm Hockle, professor of zoology. Hockle, 48 years old, male. Speaks with animals, befriends them, catches them, and stuffs them. So much for trust. <laughs> I'll visit Kuzmin as long as as soon as I finish savoring this moment. Please go on without me. Okay, as you wish. But before we go, we're gonna get a uh, bluebird essence. Because we'll be needing that for... Another one of Kuzmin's relatives. Alright. Alright, and that is actually everything we need to do here in Mungal Forest. I think the number of times we'll need to come back here after this is one, maybe twice. Um, other than that, as I was saying, other than that, uh, we're pretty much done here. Alright, moving on, we're going to go into a uh, Saburai. My husband came back. He said you gave him my pendant. Thank you so very much. Uh-huh, he told me all about it. He seems to have gotten into some trouble in the city. But I don't blame him. I'm glad to know he trusts me enough to tell me everything. Besides, I'm just overjoyed he came home safely. But please accept this as a token of our thanks. And we get the Shampoo Magnus. Shampoo Magnus is... One... It, it's not really a one-time Magnus. There is one other Shampoo Magnus available in the game, but that's not until much, much later. Pretty much at the end. It's recommended that you get it here and now for reasons that I'll discuss towards the end of the Let's Play. That said, uh, let's sell off whatever photos we have. Price, so... Giacomo is worth a lot. So we'll definitely sell that. Got a few of the soldiers. That's always good. Um, actually, I do want to buy those. All right. Now, if we go back into the stable here... Actually, talk to the girl milking this pow. Oh, huh. Oh yeah, this is someone else. You, you've been to Vergad, haven't you? I can tell by the scent on your clothes. How was the city? I liked it. I'm glad to hear that. Cobbled streets and drifting clouds. You have good taste. I don't know why I'm so excited, but I feel like giving this to you. Here, take it. And we get the Inklet of Calm Winds. This is very easily missed. Oh, hello there. It's a fine day today, isn't it? I hope it doesn't get too much hotter. If it gets too hot, the pals will become fatigued and lazy. If that happens, their meat will get fatty and unmarketable. We can't afford poor pal sales during this season. <laughs> Sign this family tree. Kuzmin? Well, Kuzmin is my father-in-law. What's the matter? He's dying? Really? Who are you? Oh, my father-in-law asked you to find his relatives. 
I'll go since my husband is away in Mintaka. You want me to sign here? Suraij. Yeah, 47 years old, female. Her husband works in the city and her child wanders the world. She awaits their return. My husband is working hard in a city called Mintaka. He's not exactly dropped at handsome, but he's a good man. Right, I think that's all. Let me get some pal milk here. In fact, I think I'm gonna need two of them. Alright, that's gonna use up all of our blank Magnus. Uh, continuing on... Don't think there's anything else left here in Subarai. So, we can go into Nunkai, go through Nunkai Valley, come back to Furkad, and we actually want to go into the house all the way up here. In doing so, we'll see why this woman was after Polo the Third last time. So, we showed up at that house. Thanks to you, it looks like he didn't do anything rash to it. Look at my house. This picture, drawn by the best artist in town, was ruined. What's this? <laughs> Someone drew a mustache on it. That's hilarious. It's not the least bit amusing. I'll never forgive that little... <sighs> what a naughty kid. My husband's been home all day, but he didn't even notice. What a good-for-nothing man. That little brat really did a job to this painting. Only water is gentle enough to clean it up. I'm such a bother. My husband's so useless. I wonder if someone would be kind enough to fetch me some water. Did someone say water? Oh my, you brought me water! How nice of you! I guess I shouldn't have judged you by your appearance. Leaving so soon? Well, please take this with you. And we get the Aquarius Constellation Magnus. Give water and we get the Water Bearer. Huh. Alright, let's go over here towards the port. And we want to talk to the girl on the railing. The unhappy-looking man beside me is my daddy. He's been feeling really down lately. Anyway, forget about daddy. They say you can find bluebirds of happiness somewhere on this island. I'd really love to have one. If you find one, promise to bring the birdie to me, okay? Please? Oh, we... There we go. Here you go, kid. Dead bluebird. Brought me a bluebird of happiness? Wow, this is great! Thank you so much! <laughs> I've wanted one of these for a long, long time. Tell me if there's something I can do for you in return. Sign this family tree. You want me to go back to Grandpa's house? Okay, so I have to write my name in the family tree then. <laughs> Rushid. Six years old female. Curious little girl who believes in the bluebird of happiness. Alrighty, see you at Grandpa's. Ta-ta for now! Alright, next up is this kid running around in a... chicken outfit? Hey, hey, get! Hey, get! Stop! Stop moving! You're being mean! Why won't you show me the family tree thingy? I was so lonely. Let me see the family tree thingy and I'll sign it for you. Salem, five years old, male, Kuzma's grandson, as mischievous as his grandfather. Shy around others, though. Okay, I can go home now. See ya! Uh-huh. Well, let's go talk to... 
this guy here. So Roos went back, did she? Alright, alright. I suppose I'll be going too. This is it then. By the way, I hope that fat slob, Nubata, isn't going to be there. Please don't tell me he's there. I see. If he's not there, then it's no problem. We simply don't get along too well, that's all. Hand me the family tree and I'll sign it for you, fair and square. Sabin. 43 years old, male, Kuzmin's adopted son, full of worries lately. Does he take after his adopted father? Hmm. Oh dear. Oh my. Um. <laughs> oh. Yeah, just looking at the family tree, that's, um. Oh, that's. <laughs> Must be Alabama. <laughs> It's no big deal for me to go home. It's where I live, after all. I'll go back in a little while. Don't worry, I'm a man of my word. Alright. He did mention, uh, someone, Nubata. We don't have to worry about him for much later. So we'll take care of that when we do. Now, for those curious, if you're able to go back into the Lord's Mansion while you're technically on the run. Obviously, you can't go through the front door. Because there are guards. What about the well? Well, if we go in here... Here and inspect the well. The well is almost dried up. It leads to the fountain in the Lord's Mansion. It wouldn't be too bright to go back to the mansion just yet. Yeah, so we can't go back into the mansion, which means picking up these pound milks was not worth doing. Basically, you want the pound milk to age as a yogurt for the, um, the maid, and then you need another pow milk yogurt to evolve into cheese for the other person with the bracelet. So we won't be able to do that until a bit later. And we still can't touch the apple wine. If we want apple mountain apple wine, we can just get a mountain apple and age it, but that just takes too long. All right. So, there's really nothing else here for us to do. At least, I don't think... Uh, I should probably heal up at the shop. I should have done that back when I was in, uh, Samurai. actually something else we missed back in Saburai. So... It's actually relating to uh, Mani and Algemo. <laughs> Let's go ahead and head on back there real quick. And it involves going into that house next to the shop. And I believe we talked to... Here we go. Seems my son-in-law has finally returned. I hear he lent a helping hand. 
That man finally promised to change his ways. Thank you. It's not much, but I want you to have it. And we get 500 gold for this. Awesome. So, not just the shampoo, but 500 gold. And just making sure. Uh, we got the Aquarius. Didn't do the yogurt. Can't do the yogurt yet. Got the bluebird. Got those three. Got the dog. Okay, there is actually one thing we need for um, the Pound Milk 4. So, I was right in at least grabbing it. I'm surprised I forgot this one. And can you just not stand in front of the pot? Jesus. So hard trying to get access. Oh my god. No, that's not what we want. Here we go. Alright, let's get this pal milk. And we actually need to go back to the house that we were just in. <laughs> There's a good reason for this, because... If we head back, and we talk to the one at the stove... I feel very awkward asking you this, but... Will you go to the stable and bring back some pal milk for me? I'm making cream stew, but I can't make it without pal milk. No way! You must be kidding me! I don't have time for that! Jeez, Callus! Let's help her! What? You want me to help her? We already have the milk! Fine, we'll do it. Whatever you say, boss. Oh, thank you. I would go myself, but I have to keep an eye on the pot here, so nothing burns. The stable's just right down the path. You'll find the pal milk inside a large jar in the stable. I thank you for your help. Talk to her again. And give her the pal milk. Alright. Oh, you brought me pal milk. Thank you very much. Now I can finish cooking my stew. This might come in handy during your journey. Please accept it as a gift. And we get the Pupus Constellation Magnus. Alright, so that is it. Nothing left for us to do. So we can actually head out of Furkad. And here we go. Let's get on the liner. Okay, let's go. The Diadem Express liner will be departing soon. All passengers must board. Let's hurry, Callus. There we are! Over here! Move! They found us! Let's go! is underway!
excuse me, where could I catch a ride to the Empire? The Empire? You'd need to make your way down to the castle town. There's a large port there. Nashira here is just a small village, as you can see. The only ships around here are merchant ships flying in and out from Furkan. I see. Thanks. I'm headed for the castle too. I need to talk to the king. Which means we'll be traveling together a little longer. But Callus, before we set off, why don't we stop by the village? We might need a Magnus or two for the road. Yeah, good idea. Alright, so, we uh, got a nice glimpse of the uh, world map, actually, on the way here, which is a really stellar looking piece, honestly. So here we are at uh, Nashira in Diadem. So as we just move on along, you can actually see that it's a bit of a little fishing village. Look at that! Uniform, do you think? Yeah, can't say for sure from here, but it looks like an Imperial uniform. The boat nearby must be an Imperial issue, too. not looking for us. They couldn't be that quick. But we'd better be careful. Huh? You outlaws or something? Being chased by the Empire? Sorry? No. No way. What gave you that idea? It's just that... We are not on very good terms with Imperial soldiers. Nothing serious. Hmm. Well, the girl behind us doesn't look like a bad person at all. Don't know about you, though. See ya! Uh, bye. Thank you. Let's go, Callus. Yeah, you're lucky she's dragging me along, you judgmental little prick. I'll kick your ass. Anyway, uh, we've got quite a bit here for us to do in uh, Nishira. We'll go ahead and just explore all of it next time. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more great content. And uh, next time on Bot and Kairos, we'll explore Nishira and see what it has to offer. Until then, see you guys next time.